Um, good day, sir. I am Joshua Igalabar from BS ECE3, and this is my presentation of my topics, which is broadband communication system, or ISDN and ETM. So, integrated services the digital network, or ISDN. Um, it is a set of communication standards for digital telephone connection and the transmission of voice and data over a di digital line and is a development of the plain old telephone service. These digital lines are commonly telephone lines and exchanges established by the government. They are used instead of the traditional circuits of the classic switch telephone network since they can integrate data and speech on the same time. So, um, ISDN was designed to run on digital telephone system that were um, already in place. Uh, as such, it meets telecoms digital voice network um, specification. Um, originally, it was largely used by business that needed to support many decks, phones, and fax machines. Um, however, it took so long for ISDN to be standard, standardized that it was never fully deployed in the telecommunications network it was intended for. Um, um, you can also think of it as a set of communications standard to transmit data, voice, and signaling. This digital, um, this digital lines could be copper lines. It was designed to move outdated line, line, landline technology to digital. Next is the three types of services of ISDN. First is barrier, barrier services, transfer of information, voice, data, and video between users without the network manipulating the content of that information is provided by the barrier network. So, um, there is no need for the network to process the information and therefore does not change the content. Um, barrier services belong to the first three layers of the, of the OSI model. They are well defined in the ISDN standard and they can be provided using circuit switch, packet switch, and frame switch or cell switch networks. Next is the teleservices. In this, the, ne the network may change or process the content of the data. These services correspond to layers 4 to 7 of the USI model. Teleservices relay on the facilities of the bar barrier services and are designed to accom accommodate complex users needed. Um, the users need not be aware of the details of the process. Um, teleservices um, include telephony, teletext, telefax, videotext, telex, and telecon teleconferencing. Though the ISDN defines these services by name yet, they have not yet become standards. Next is supplementary services. Um, additional functionality to the barrier services and teleservices are provided by supplementary services. Reverse charging, call waiting, and message handling are examples of supplementary services which are all familiar with today's telephone company services. So, next is the principle of ISDN. So, to support switch and non-switch application, 
to support voice and non-voice application, reliance on 64 kbps connection, intelligence in the network, layered protocol architecture, and variety of configurations. So the advantages and disadvantages of ISDN. So first is the advantages of ISDN. So ISDN is a channels have a reliable and connections. ISDN is used to facilitate the user with multiple digital channels. It has faster data transfer rate. And then the disadvantages of ISDN is ISDN lines can cost higher than the other telephone system. Um, it requires specialized digital devices and it is least flexible. Next is the asynchronous transfer mode or ATM. So, it's a switching technique used by telecommunication network that uses asynchronous time division, multiplexing to encode data into small, fixed size cells. And asynchronous trans transfer mode was designed with cells in mind. This is because voice data is converted to packets and is forced to share a network with voice data, large packet data passing through the same medium. Because of this, um, some people believe that ATM is the key to the internet bandwidth problem, an evolution of packet switching. Um, the ATM technology was instrumental in the development of broadband ISDN as a few decades ago. So, um, no matter how small the voice packets are, um, they always encounter full-size data packets and good um, experience maximum cleaning delays this is why all data packets should be of the same size next is working of ATM ATM Solar uses two types of connection which is virtual path connections and virtual channels connection um, bothered together which is a basic unit carrying a single stream of cells from users to users. So, the benefits of ATM networks are um, it provides the dynamic bandwidth that is particularly suited for burst T traffic. And since all data are encoded into identical cells, data transmission is simple, uniform, and predictable. Uniform packet size ensures that max traffic is handled efficiently and small size either reduces packet overload thus ensuring effective bandwidth usage and ATM network are scalable both size and speed next is the advantages and disadvantages advantages of ATM <coughs> so the advantages of ATM is, is to optimize the transport voice data and video single network for everything it is used for mixed traffic, real-time and non-real-time traffic types. And it is to integrate with LAN, MAN actually, and WAN. Network types, seamless integration, and it enables efficient use of network resource using bandwidth on demand concept. And last is, it uses simplified network entrance structures. And it is and the disadvantages of ATM is overheat of cell heater, 5 bytes per cell, congestions may cause cell losses, ATM switch is very expensive compared to LAN hardware, moreover, ATM uh, NIC is more expensive compared to Ethernet NIC. As ATM is connection-oriented technology, the time required for connection setup and tier down is larger compared to time required to use it to use it in. so um ATM is a uh, networks are connection oriented networks for cell related support voice video and data communication 
and it includes data into small fixed size cells so that they are suitable for TDM and transmit them over a physical medium. And then the size of ATM cell is 53 bytes, 5 bytes header, and 48 bytes payload. There are two different cells format um, user network interface and network network interface. So that is my report, sir, for today's video. Thank you.